first stop is Charles Gay. Yeah, just in case you ain't heard of me, they told me it was too late. But I promise that I'll be the first to speak. Most of these rappers, they fake. But you can't have your way to sign Burke. Everybody said it won't be. Till they see smoke, then they realize they'd rather have turkey me. What it do, what it do, is 903 Boxing. I'm your host, Charles J. Okay, um, woke up this morning, man. I gave my thoughts last night, man. Also, I went live, man. Uh, yeah, first time on YouTube. Had to learn a few goddamn things. I had to, yeah, I had to turn on my goddamn comments. I didn't know the shit was private. Yeah, next time it'll be a lot more, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be public. It'll be coming. Yeah, we're going we gonna to straighten all that out. But anyway, uh, woke up this morning, uh, yeah, um, I, I listened to what all the fighters, I listened to their reactions and shit. Of course, I said I thought, uh, Sandor Martin won in a close fight. But nah, bro, I can't let it go down like this, bro. Um, I've talked shit about T.O., but I'm taking up for T.O. Uh, on this video. Uh, but I gotta pose a question. <sighs> Has T.O. Fimo Lopez lost his sauce? Has he lost his sauce? It's a question I must uh, raise because everybody... And also, what really makes me raise that question is that T.O. did say, he asked the question, he said, do I still got it? And, you know, I, I just want to uh, I want to talk about that. Uh, I think a lot of you motherfuckers are overreacting. I think a lot of you motherfuckers are... I, I don't understand it, um... I really don't. I I don't think uh T.O. should get bashed. Yeah, I'm taking. A, I'm not gonna bash T.O. T.O. fought a very decent fighter. Uh, he moved up to what forty. Nah, bro. Uh, Sandor Martin is a decent fighter, and uh, he'll beat a lot of these fighters that you motherfuckers uplift. He not special or nothing. He he'll get stopped in his next fight by. Uh, I don't even know if Sandor Martin beats uh Montana Love. He not good like that. It's just that um. Boxers, people who buy it, it fucks with them, bro. And I gotta be honest with you, um, I think it's time to put a little bit more respect on. I'm a, for one, I gotta put respect. Well, I ain't gonna say respect. You know, fuck that. But I'm just gonna say that T.O. win over Loma was not a fluke. There was nothing fluke about that. T.O. is a better fighter than Loma. He beat Loma uh, decisively. Um, yeah, he's better than Loma. He beat him. That shit wasn't no fluke. Um, I don't give a fuck if his uh, Loma's pinky was hurting or his pinky toe was hurting. You lost that fight, bro. That shit was not cap. Another thing I want to point out, when T.O. lost to Cambosis, it wasn't cap, bro. And I, you motherfuckers say Cambosis is such a terrible fighter. Uh, Cambosis is a better fighter than T.O., bro. I'm going to tell you why. Uh, that shit he was doing, that lateral movement, uh, coming in and out with combinations and Campos has got fast ass hands fast ass combinations and he let his hands go more than Sando Martin he lets his hands go a lot more and he throws fast ass combinations and he stayed on the move that whole fight he fought a smart ass fight uh, yeah and Campos that was one of the best uh, performances of his career that win over T.O. was not cap and it's like everything is cap uh, T.O. beating Loma was cap and Cam beating uh, T.O. was cap And Devin beating Cam was cap Like what is What is cap bro well, Which is and which ain't Cause I think Ryan is cap I'm telling you I'm, I'm on Ryan neck I'm not gonna let off And another reason why I gotta get you Ryan bro Don't come in on no fights bro Don't you even come in. You've never even been a champion we got, We're gonna You know what I am gonna put some respect on T.O. T.O. was a champion uh, T.O. had three of the belts at 135 He earned that shit he earned that shit. Uh, a lot of motherfuckers don't realize. T.O. fought a hell of a fight against Loma. And he, bro, T.O. could have folded in that fight because a lot of motherfuckers thought he, uh, Loma was this greatest fighter of all time. He could have fell for the hype. He went in that ring and didn't respect Loma. And he fought like a veteran fighter in that fight. So that shit wasn't cap. You've been a world champion. You had three belts. You way more accomplished than Ryan. Ryan has never been a world champion. Ryan Garcia has never fought for a world title. This motherfucker duck fighting for a world title. So this the last motherfucker that I think should be able to say any goddamn thing. Uh, you got to be at least a world champion to come in on T.O. So, uh, nah, Ryan can't say shit. Another thing I want to point out, 
uh, know a lot of you motherfuckers been following the Bud fight because you said after Nisha wasn't shit. Uh, I'm going to tell you something. You same motherfuckers. If I catch you motherfuckers, if I catch you motherfuckers trying to call that Ryan fight, because he's going to fight a bum. Uh, if you motherfuckers call that fight, if you motherfuckers support this fight, you, I, hey, listen, I'm done with I'm done with boxing if you motherfuckers do that. Yeah, I'm going to change my goddamn channel. I'm done with boxing. If you motherfuckers do some goddamn fight parties for Ryan Garcia next fight, I'm done with you motherfuckers. Because if you motherfuckers think Abdonesia not a formidable opponent, uh, Ryan Garcia is, uh, whoever he's fighting, they're not a formidable opponent. Uh, Tank is fighting a real fighter. So I don't know why you motherfuckers baby Ryan so much. Uh, I, I just don't know. You know, I know some of you motherfuckers just want to see him knocked out. But now we give Ryan too much goddamn credit. We give him too much credit. We, You know, I, I just don't want to T.O. with, and T.O. would beat the shit out of Ryan. So I'm looking at all this shit he's talking. T.O. is a better fighter than Ryan. And he's more proven. And he's been a world champion. So now, uh, when it comes to the question I posed, has he lost? Now, T.O. ain't lost his sauce. Um, for one, he need another trainer. Uh, even though I told you, normally I get on T.O. Senior. T.O. Senior, uh, he did pretty. He, he did a decent job in the corner last night. And when he told him, look, I need this, bro. When he done that, I, I really, I, I admired that a little bit. I appreciated it because he, he really, really, he didn't lie to his son this time like he did in the Cambosis fight. Now, he talked that little shit after the fight. Oh, he ran. He ran, bro. I mean, how can you, he's running, bro. No, nah, he did that shit after the fight. But during the fight, he let his son know, nah, bro, you got to pull this through, bro. This shit is tight. So, yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, you didn't look as drunk. So, yeah, uh, T.O. Senior, you did your thing last night. But now, uh, T.O. Uh, Junior need a trainer. And another thing about you, bro, I, I think I think you need to change your environment. And you need to uh, you need a little more space from that girl. Yeah, you got a baby with her, but I think she's stressing you the fuck out. Yeah, I think it's some shit like that. Uh, yeah, you need to just change location. Train somewhere else. Don't train close to home. Go in the mountains or shit and, and start having camp in the mountains or some shit. Yeah, do some shit like that. But now, um, we're going to give credit with credit due. Uh, Tio Fimo beat the man that everybody said was pound for pound number one in Lomachenko. That shit was not a fluke. He fought a great fight. Uh, Tio Fimo is an accomplished fight. He's more accomplished than a lot of these guys. He, he had three belts, and he lost to Cambosis, and Cambosis was the better fighter. Cambosis fought a great fight when he beat T.O. And Devin beat the man that beat T.O. that beat Lama. And we just gonna call it like it is. I'm tired of y'all not trying to give fighters credit because you like this fighter more. No. Uh, T.O. beat Lama. Cambosis beat T.O. Devin beat Cam. Twice. In Australia. So yeah. Um, a lot of times we devalue competition because it's not our favorite fighter. But nah bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give that man credit. He beat Lama. He did that shit. And he exposed him. He exposed and he exposed them feet. He exposed all them angles. He exposed a lot of shit. He exposed that Loma can't fight on the back foot. He exposed that Loma don't defend the jab well. I'll tell you something about T.O. that like I said, he's a better fighter than Ryan. When T.O. use his jab, when he work his jab any quicker, and he any explosive, uh, he would knock the fuck out of Ryan. With them leaping ass hooks and shit, he'd catch him. Uh and and he and he got more dog in him than Ryan. Ryan a fold, bro. I, 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 bro, let me tell you, I can see some shit in the fight. Ryan will fold. So, uh, T.O. ain't folded. Even when he got his ass whooped by camp, he didn't fold. You know, he still, he, he more sturdy than Ryan, bro. He more sturdy. And so, nah, I, I'd rather give T.O. credit before I give some goddamn Ryan credit. Uh, yeah, um, I'm just tired of fighters coming in on fights like they accomplished some shit. Nah, 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 you gotta at least be accomplished to talk shit about, uh, uh, T.O. So now, if you ain't a world champion, I don't respect none of these fighters talking shit about him. So, uh, and then I seen Regis, uh, he come in it and he said, yeah, that uh, mental issues is a motherfucker. Because I do think, I think T.O. been through a lot of shit. Like he had a fucked up childhood. I think it's a lot of shit he ain't got over. So, uh, bro, I wish you the best, bro. I wish you the best. And uh, you still got some sauce. Uh, you done lost some of it, but you ain't lost all of it. Uh, you, it's still plenty of sauce in the pot. Uh, you can regain uh, all the shit you lost. 
And yeah, you can come back and be a better fighter, bro. Uh, but you're gonna have to take your time, bro. And you're gonna have to be realistic. Stay away from Devin Haney, bro. His style is a nightmare for you. Stay away from Devin Haney and just admit it. Just tell Devin Haney, look, bro, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I need another trainer. I gotta work on my shit. And I gotta get a little bit more sauce in the goddamn pot. It's 903 boxing. I am your old Joel J. With that, I'm out.